This is Nephi Cole. I'm with the National Shooting Sports Foundation, and here we are at SHOT Show. We're joined by Governor Greg Gianforte of Montana and Paul Donaldson from Snowy Mountain Rifles in Montana. So, Paul, first of all, thanks for hosting it, at, us at your booth. How many years have you been at SHOT Show? Uh, I think this is our fifth year at SHOT Show. We've been manufacturing in Montana since 2009. Well, Montana's certainly a phenomenal state for business. Governor, what makes Montana so good for the firearms businesses? Well, first, we love the Second Amendment. Uh, and, you know, it's businesses like Snowy Mountain. Uh, we have 150 firearms and ammunition manufacturers uh, located in Montana. That's more per capita than any other state in the country. I think it's because we love freedom and we love free enterprise. Uh, and since I came into office, we've been open for business. So we've been lowering the tax burden, uh, deregulating, and making sure that government just kind of stays out of the way uh, so that we can help people achieve the American dream. Governor, you have over a dozen companies here at SHOT Show today, all of them growing, all of them flourishing in Montana. People recognize Montana for their leadership in both manufacturing uh, long rifles, barrels. I mean, it's really huge. Um, why is it that Montana is a, as an outdoor recreation state? Why do people love Montana so much? Maybe the great business climate, but what else does Montana have to offer? Well, it's, it's not hard. I mean, and just to correct, we have over two dozen manufacturers here at the SHOT Show, just a small segment of the 150 that exist. But it's really the quality of life. We've announced some big announcements recently of businesses moving to Montana. Just two weeks ago, $125 million investment by Bricksdale Defense. They're gonna build a plant that's gonna manufacture about a billion primers a year, create 350 jobs. Olympus Arms, a $50 million investment, building rifles, uh, about 60 jobs. Uh, and what it is, not only is it a good business climate, but you can hunt 11 out of 12 months, big game. And the one month you can't hunt big game, July, the fishing's pretty good. So there's a lot of people in the fires are, our firearms industry that love the outdoors, the two passions go together. Myself, on a weekend, you're mostly gonna like find me out in the woods someplace. And it's just awesome. It's the quality of life combined with the Montana work ethic that won't quit that's bringing people to Montana. Well, Governor, we're certainly excited uh, for everything you've done in Montana over the last four years. You recently announced your, that you're going to be seeking office again in Montana. I know on behalf of the industry, uh, we love you as governor of Montana. We're looking forward to working with you uh, for another four years and having you at Shasha hopefully for another four years. It's been a pleasure every time you've come to visit. Um, recently, the last legislative session, um, you signed a bill into law called the Financial Industry Non-Discrimination Act that that requires people that discriminate against the industry to make that known to the state so you guys can decide for yourselves whether or not you want to support those types of companies in Montana. Um, why is that important? Yeah, we've seen discrimination against firearms companies creep into not only uh, banking, but also investment. And I heard, I heard a story here at SHOT Show last year that really prompted that action. There was a Montana manufacturer that shared with me that they'd been denied a loan from a bank they'd been with for 20 years, and the banker told them with a straight face, if, if you only manufactured a screw that went into a Revolutionary War flintlock, you would never get a loan from us. So we passed a law in Montana that makes that sort of discrimination by banking illegal. We also will not allow ESG policies, these woke policies, to creep into and use our pension funds. So in addition, we withdrew $26 billion from our money managers and said, you will not vote the proxies on those shares because we don't want some woke financial analyst in San Francisco or Boston using the pension funds of our hardworking Montanans to advance their political agenda. Now we vote our own proxies and we've taken that tool out of their hands. So we're gonna continue to defend the rights of Montanans and make sure they get a good fiscal return and our firearms companies can get the funding they need to continue to grow. Well, Governor, thank you very much for being at SHOT Show. We, as, a, as an elected representative of Montana and a leader of the state, we are, are proud to be associated with you. And certainly, uh, your business acumen speaks for itself and uh, you're really running Montana that way and it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, well, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. We're open for business. You know, if you find yourself in one of these states that doesn't embrace freedom the way Montana does, come and see us. Thank you very much. 
Um, Nephi Cole with SHOT Show and the greatest leaders in our country.